I like I like to use a scalpel and a sharp number 22 blade for making my cuts on a deer head. I make a V-shaped cut in between the antlers and then a cut of about 6 to 7 inches down the back. Now use the tip of the blade to carefully cut around the base of the antlers, pulling the skin back away from the antlers. Now I'm going to detach what is called the earbutt muscle from the skull. You can see the ear canal there. Now let's work forward to the eyes. This is one area where mistakes are often made, so be careful not to cut the eyelid skin. I put my finger up against the eyeball to kind of get a feel for what I'm cutting. This area contains the tear duct. Using the skull as a guide, cut gently with the tip of the scalpel blade so as to not cut any holes in the tear duct. cutting through the back of the mouth. Cut along the teeth and you won't nick the skin. For the nose, I like to go from the outside, cutting along the lips as seen, and then cutting up through the cartilage of the nose. That's the inside of the nostrils. The bottom of the lip is very similar. I work along the bone of the lower jaw, and this keeps plenty of lip skin left on. And there you go, you've caped your first deer head. Now all we have to do is cut off the antlers. I like to use a sawzall. Make one more cut along the back and you've got your